let's say we have a rider who is sitting well. We want now to talk about the effective use of the aids. And we want to talk about the way the rider can use his or her body to be more effective. Part of the effectiveness of the rider is the ability to use more pressure with one leg than the other at times, to be able to use the upper body independently of the hands and the legs, and also to use the arms and the upper body independently of the legs and be able to draw back and support the horse in a manner that will help the horse keep his balance. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk around on a circle here and we are going to make some fairly obvious transitions of walk, halt, without Piaf. Walk, halt. And what we want to watch is the ability of the rider to use the upper body and the elbows and be able to tell the horse that in that transition, that part of the body is governing the balance of the horse. So let's walk on. Try to have a little longer ring, just a little bit. There. Good. Now, again, we're going to have a halt. And what I want you to watch is the use of the upper body and the elbows to bring the horse to the halt. And in the beginning, it is only important that when the rider practices this movement, that you're only interested in the horse doing what your body is telling him. And in the moment of this transition, you're not interested in whether he's perfectly round or not. You're interested in whether he's listening to your body weight. Let's walk on. And again, we'll make the transition to the halt using the upper body there. Now there you could see that basically it worked. She brought her upper body weight back, brought her elbow slightly back. The horse said, oh, oh, okay, I can do that. You have then established a very important point, that the horse is reacting to the rider using his body, her body. This is basically one of the most important things that we do. This is used in half halts. This is used in the corner to prepare for turns, to prepare for movements that come out of the corner. This is used to bring the horse back from extensions. And this is also used in Piaf and Passage, when you come from Passage to Piaf, drawing your body weight slightly back. All of these things are directly based on this. Okay, now let's pick up the reins a little, and we're going to do the same thing in the trot. Just keep to the circle and just trot around the circle, and when you come around near E, we'll make a nice halt. So the same thing, we teach the rider to be able to use his body in the same manner to the halt out of the trot. Good, Catherine. Let's do it again. Pick up the trot. Soften a little with your hands. Yep. And when you come to be, again, your same downward transition. Good. 
Now, it's the same thing here, and the reason why you try to teach the rider to do this over and over again is that later on, you want the rider to be able to soften with his hands at the same time he draws his upper body weight back and be able to have the horse not get too short in his neck or not to run up against the rein and just have to be pulled back. This is where the body of the rider is taking more of the responsibility of the balance of the horse and it is not, the rider is not relying only on his legs and his hands. And it is basically the same thing here. You're asking the rider again to bring the horse to the halt with the upper body being used as a lever and there you have it.